YouTube. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. As y'all can see, birds chirping, slight overcast. Don't mind, don't mind my morning face. I'm sorry, y'all. Just, <clears throat> just now I'm getting up. <clears throat> today is the day. Today's the day. <clears throat> the day has come to where it is our last trip in my Freightliner FLD. Last day. I do want to say a big shout out to Miles for looking out for me uh, on that truck. Um, if it wasn't for Miles reaching out on that truck and then the, the deal that he offered me on a truck, I don't know where we would be. Uh, I might have had to go back to being a company driver. Like, y'all know I was screwed over. Um, when I first came to Landstar, I was under a fleet. And they have a whole ordeal to where you can, you know, be one of their company drivers. Just like what I'm doing, I have an extra truck I can add on to Landstar and put a driver on it. Um, they got about 50, 80, 90 trucks somewhere. They got a bunch of trucks. But they're Landstar's largest fleet owners. If you know, you know. They uh, have a whole ordeal to where if you want to, if you want to buy one of the trucks that you're driving, um, they can sell it to you. And it's basically like a lease purchase, but they redefine it as owner finance. And so end up getting tricked into it. And then the more you learn and the more you observe, you start picking up on some things. And I was with them for about 18 months trying to purchase my international Lone Star. And just my paychecks just kept getting worse and worse and worse and worse. And at first they started off decent, but then percentages started not making sense. I started talking to other Landstar drivers and started learning more and more and more and found out how, how much I was getting screwed. And so I had to leave that truck behind. Um, they threatened to sue me and all, kind of, all kinds of stuff. They really tried to uh, screw me over. Um, but then being with them, like, I almost lost everything. I almost, like, for instance, like, my paychecks went from, like, $3,000 a week, $2,500 a week with the freight market going down to $800 a week. And I found out what they were taking out and out of my check and why they were taking it out and how stuff just did not make sense. And so I went down to making $800 a week, if that, if I got a check. Uh, it would fluctuate from, I think I showed y'all paychecks a couple of months ago. 300 this week, 800 this week, maybe 1500 this week, but running my behind off, running the whole 48 states and not making more than a thousand dollars on a regular basis. Like I almost lost everything. I almost lost the house. I almost lost uh, my wife's car. Um, everything that we have, we almost lost it. And that was a bad decision on my end. These mosquitoes are bad, bad out here. Um, it was a mistake of my end to even get with them, but you live and you learn. And even when I went over there, I knew not to finance a truck. I knew not to finance one, and I knew not to get one of these old trucks with the def DPF systems and all that kind of stuff in it. They talked me into it, because at first I asked them, I said, if I buy a truck from you guys, since y'all take our percentage, let me get like a, you know, a Freightliner Classic, FLD or something like that. No, we only buy trucks that are 10 years or seven years and newer or something like that. So I ended up getting sucked into it and it became a whole ordeal. And so uh, I got screwed on it. I almost lost everything. But then you guys, like I said, you guys are the best subscribers ever. Y'all reached out for plenty of advice and, and encouragement while I was going through that. And then specifically a guy named Miles reached out to me and he really did help me out a lot on that uh, on that FLD for the, the deal that he gave me on it. And so I want to say big shout out to you. Appreciate it. Because uh, if it wasn't for him, it wasn't for y'all, I would have to go back to being a company driver somewhere and hopefully make the same thing I was making as an owner operator to be able to keep, you know, to, to maintain my lifestyle. Like my mortgage alone, guys, is $2,500 a month for my mortgage. 
if I was making 800 bucks a week, if that, if I made a check, you know, 300 here, 200 here, no check here, maybe 13 to 14 here, and then nothing here, nothing there, you know, I would have, we would have lost everything. So I just want to say a big thank you to you guys. Um, and for you guys who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Lone Star Texas Ranger. Um, make sure y'all hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. We have some pretty cool stuff coming up pretty pretty soon. Um, but I gotta work my behind off this summer to make it happen. I'm looking for a cab over. I don't. I can't cash out on one right now, but I'm looking for one just to kind of get an idea of what I want. Um, I might be looking for a truck with a depth system in it. I, I might need a California compliant truck because one of my buddies who does celebrity tours hit me up and he may have some stuff for me that goes into Canada and it goes into uh, California that I may need to look into and I might be looking for a drive in I got to figure out what specs I need on it but so yeah but yeah so we're, we're moving on ahead but like I said hit the subscribe button go check out LongStarTexasRanger.shop grab me some merch if there's anything on there you like, look out for your boy. I was looking in the car early and I saw these uh, quarter length Long Star Texas Ranger t shirts. But uh, we have some more stuff coming soon. We're going to be doing some revamping, re a lot of stuff. But I haven't changed anything yet because we're getting a lot of shout outs and people are shouting out Long Star Texas Ranger. So I have not changed the name of the channel yet because people are going to be typing in Long Star Texas Ranger and I don't want to change the name just for Long Star Texas Ranger to not exist. So anyway, just wanted to give you all those updates, but yeah, today is the last day in the, uh, the FLD. I will be jumping, I've mentioned it over time and time again, but just as a recap, I will be jumping into our fleet truck that we just purchased. I will be running it for like a good month or two, probably two months, um, just to put some money back in my pocket. And then once we do that, we have a driver that we're hiring on who's gonna be in that fleet truck. I want to make sure that truck's in tip-top shape before we put a driver in it. Um, I want to give drivers an opportunity to be treated right, and I want to give somebody the opportunity to be uh, my uh, to be my dream job. You know, to get paid time off. You know, home time as we call it in trucking. To get paid home time, get paid breakdown pay, get paid detention pay, get paid tarp pay if you're doing open deck. You know, um, bonuses. You know, I, I want to pay. I want to pay my drivers fair. I, and if I have an opportunity, you guys have been sh giving me opportunities for trucks and stuff, to where I can offer some kind of. I don't want to call it lease purchase, but to where I can offer drivers an opportunity to get trucks. A lot of y'all have dreams of being an operator. A lot of y'all have your dreams of even just becoming a truck driver. Some of y'all been wanting to try out Landstar, but you don't have a truck. So I want to be able to get. Some, get myself to a, uh, a place in life to where I can offer opportunity. But drivers should be paid home time pay um, on a case by case basis. Uh, drivers should be paid breakdown pay outside of driver negligence. Uh, that's not the driver's fault if he breaks down. He should be put up in a hotel, maybe a rental car, depending on how long he's you know sitting. Like those things the driver should be you know, taken care of or compensated for, you know. But as a fleet owner, uh, now that we have our first truck, thank, thank the Lord. Even the uh, the individual we, we bought the um, the fleet truck from, big shout out to you. Thank you so much for that. Um, but, but yeah, y'all, we're, we're ready to move forward. We're ready to be a blessing to somebody else. And so, uh, and that's what the whole reason for us starting this fleet. It's not for me to get rich off of. It's not for me to make millions and thousands or millions and hundreds of thousands of dollars in this truck the purpose of this truck is to be a blessing to somebody else it's to like i said give somebody else an opportunity to have my dream job and uh but also to stay in business at the same time so that's what we got going on guys but let's get this old dodge ram clanked on up and uh we'll jump off our last load it's an easy load and it's heavy. I was wondering why I was, the truck was kind of struggling a little bit yesterday. Not struggling, but just like, I was expecting a light load because it was furniture. But it's 43,000 pounds, y'all. 43,000 pounds. So, of course the last load will be a heavy one. I mean, I guess we can't go out on a light load, right? So, 
Anyway, 43,000 pounds going up to Round Rock, Texas, which is Dallas, Texas. Let's get on out of here. Um, and then after I get back, I gotta pull some stuff out of that truck that I'm gonna need for the, uh, for the International. Uh, today's Saturday, so uh, Sunday morning tomorrow, we'll be flying out to go get uh, our new truck. And we're gonna take it out to Brad, bearded diesel guy. Y'all go check out his YouTube channel. We'll just get it started up. And we're gonna be getting content on his channel, bearded diesel guy, to, um, uh, on getting the truck fixed. I will get content on my channel of us fixing, fixing the truck, but the fine details of it will be putting on his channel. So his link is down there in my description below. What kind of bird is that? Um, so go check out his, like I said, hit the more button, link down there in the description. Also, go check out my wife's channel, We The Spencer Family. Her link is down there in the description below as well. And uh, let's get on out of here. Just to make sure I'm not leaving anything behind. And I need to get back here and cut my grass. Um, shout out to Caveman. Caveman is fixing my lawn more for me. Big shout out to him. Y'all know, I ain't got no time for nothing. But let's get out of here. Um, you guys go roll that intro. I'm gonna roll up out of here. And uh, let's go drop off our last load. Bittersweet day in our Freightliner uh, FLD. take i-10 because y'all know i don't like doing a bunch of starting and stopping in small towns yeah when i picked this load up yesterday i was under the assumption that it was light since it's just furniture but they must have it really packed in there this load is forty-three thousand pounds our furniture. gate open uh, come on gates seriously This gate doesn't open, we're stuck in here.
All right now, gate, come on, please. There we go. Turn right. Now we're gonna jump right here on 90. coming no no turn up here <clears throat> yeah this thing's heavy get a smoothie well I got two smoothies I had a coupon for buy one get one free that expired today so I was like why not oh, they're building something over there looks like so we should be there by noon which that's the time I told them, uh, Ikea. And hopefully it'll be back by four o'clock, 4 p.m. or so. I might stop and get some fuel. Uh-oh, what's going on? I see some traffic down here, looks, <clears throat> looks like. I think that's why GPS is trying to get me to go the other way. Which I don't like going that way because it's a bunch of lights. Yep, got some traffic. Is that left lane closed? Yes. Dang it, man. Goodness. All right. All 
All right, y'all. I'll catch y'all here in a little bit. Let me get through this traffic. I'm not hiding anything I think you know me too well I'm always coming up short on words You should know that by now We've been down this road So I'm not sure what you think you heard
Uh-oh, battery's dying on the iPad. And we're here. All right. And where the trucks go in? Uh, I, I highly doubt there. Maybe back here. Uh, yep. All right, cars, I need to. Excuse me, pardon me. Goods deliveries, IKEA food deliveries. All right. It'd be nice if they had a a sign outside or something saying trucks here. Here. All right, I see plenty of space back here. And voila, Landstar trailers. I'm going to watch your car, watch him, you turn it around. Cool, cool, cool. So we'll park right here, go get checked in and see what they want us to do. Man, Ikea is very, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, tedious with everything they do. But of course, they got to break the seal or they want to be able to break the seal themselves and such and such. But uh, they have these things they put on the door. So when you open the door, they just fly open and they want to watch you do everything. Even at the, uh, at the distribution center last night, they went through every protocol in the book. Oh, dude's watching me put it in the dock right now. I was going to get y'all some drone footage, but he's watching me put it in the dock and all that kind of stuff. In there. It's 
by these panels. All right, so we're hooked up. There we go. Fifth wheel arm, hooked up there. Ah. Next, I need to go home and clean this thing out. I got somebody coming next week. Uh, I won't be here, so I want to clean all my, uh, all my stuff out. But I got somebody coming next week to uh, check out the truck to see if they can help restore the interior. So we're gonna come look at it to see if it's uh, something feasible for them. Ah, oh, dang it, there's no air in there. Sweet. Pushing our emergency line so we can get some air going through here. Meanwhile, I'm gonna walk across the street to find something to drink and I'm gonna get on back down home to Houston. Let's see, have we done a okay, a 30 minute break? Is it over? Yep, just finished. Cool. Um, do I wanna get something to drink now? Yeah, let's go find something to drink and then we'll hit the road. Alright, so the trailer we just dropped. That one, yeah, that's the one we just dropped. We just got the one right next to it. It's windy out here in Austin. Alright, is there anything around here? I see like a grocery store across the street. Might go over there. See if I can find something to drink. And then we will hit the road here shortly. So this is gonna be interesting. I can't get the stupid tandem to slide. So, we're gonna try to fit our way through this parking lot here. I was gonna go out the way that we came in, but, Uh, there's no stoplight up there, so it's gonna be difficult trying to jump out there. It's got a festival over there. Or, okay. Let's see if they'll slide now. I can't get enough air. Dang it, man. All right, let's try to fit through this parking lot. We try to figure something out. I know I'm not gonna fit through there. And there was a sign that said that 
But there's a way for trucks to come this way according to the sign I saw. So, let's try to figure this out, y'all. Which way are you going? Okay. Make this turn. Yep. I think. No, we're gonna have to. Come on, car. Obstacle number one out of the way. All right, Mercedes, please don't try to pass me. I think that's the last obstacle. Once we get to the stoplight, I feel a lot better. Hey, they got some kind of festival. Some Something going on over there. We're gonna have to do some wide turning, but when we get on the interstate, Uh, once we get on the interstate, what? Uh, we'll be fine. We'll have to find a truck stop or something to slide these tandems. Yeah, one thing about Austin, they keep that slogan, keep Austin weird. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Come on, like, so what is this? Uh, University Oaks. Actually. Which way do we want to take? Do I want to take 290 back? Let's 
Crazy. All right, so we'll make a left here. Take that to 45. Okay. Yeah, we'll take 290 back. We'll get some different scenery. Just hate my tandems way back there. y'all to watch it back there. I got to swing wide. Thank y'all. Thank you. Anybody coming from that way? Nope. We got Austin traffic. <clears throat> All right, this is going to be traffic, traffic, or is this just a merge? Blinker on, y'all gonna let me over. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh. Yeah, we'll be able to fly back home since we don't have any weight on us. All right, y'all, let's get through this traffic, get on home.
work. Cool. All right. Uh oh, FLD. Check these bad boys out. Seriously. I don't even hear an air leak, so the, is the switch broken? Oh, they're going in. It's just taking this precious time. So we'll leave them like that for a little while. While we get fuel. And when we finish getting fuel, we'll check it out. Is this side going in? Yeah, this side is going. Oh, okay. It's just taking this precious time. That sucks. But let's get some fuel. Y'all let me know what your Mother's Day plans were like. We're gonna have a Mother's Day shenanigans tonight. I don't know what we're gonna do. Meanwhile, I don't know if I told y'all already, but I got an email from Spirit Airlines talking about, we overbooked. It's like, what? We overbooked. You may not be able to get on your flight. So, waiting on that. And spirit, man, I swear. But uh, it says something like, uh, put in a, a bid or something. It was our mistake, put in a bid and we'll give you a voucher for that amount or whatever. No, man, I don't know. So we'll see how that goes. But pump price is 385 a gallon. We're getting fuel. I think it's two seventy a gallon with, with the Landstar discount. So a dollar fifteen cents off. I still had like a hundred and some odd dollars left of my fuel car from this past load. So I'm gonna put all that in the tank. Uh, I'm literally on E. So I'm gonna put. Hopefully, I got enough for about 30, 35 gallons. That way, uh, even after I park the truck, I'll have some fuel left over. But. Yes, yeah, so I only spent from the from uh, from uh, Atlanta, just picking up our load in uh, Alabama, going down to Laredo, and then from Laredo uh, to Houston, Houston up to Austin. Well, okay, let me break it down this way. So from Atlanta, let's just say from straight from Atlanta to Laredo. It's about what 1100 miles i think so we probably get up so with us going to atlanta i mean to uh, alabama that's about 1200 that's 1200 let's, let's say 1200 miles and then from laredo to houston is about 350 miles so that's 1550 going out to austin is another 200 miles or so then back is another so we did almost about let's say 1750 miles on this uh thousand dollars that's really good the way it works with landstar you just transfer fuel from the from the load you just advance the money over so i advanced a thousand dollars over from the atlanta load and it lasts just throughout the whole week so all right let's check these uh these tandems uh please be all the way in no diddy no diddy but please be all the way in uh oh they're in there okay 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 Make sure they're locked in place. Right, that pin is in, that pin is in. That pin is in, that pin is in. Sweet, y'all. All right, let's get on back down to the yard. 
My last day in the FLD can't be easy. This doesn't work like that. Y'all know how this works. But got uh, about another hour to go. Let's get on to the yard. FLD, I want you to behave while you're parked. Slams are or uh, slid. Gate should be opened. Have to swing wide in here. Sweet.
Lights will whisper the word Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope done so I went ahead and went through and cleaned out some stuff for the new truck Ugh, she needs like a good cleaning cleaning but uh, all that's trash there but I cleaned out what I could for right now but there's some people coming this week and they're gonna come and give me an estimate on the interior so that's why I got it somewhat tidy Get the work is scanned in. My headset is coming apart. But anyway, so I'm only bringing my backpack because I'm flying Spirit and they charge for everything. But if y'all watching the other day, I packed a, a bag with all my stuff in it that I need. And I got the Ram parked here in front of her. But get a nice little look at her, guys. This will be the last one for a little while. So let's go get some family time in uh, and we'll see what we get into later for Mother's Day. So both of 
both of you got seven. Good job. We got five. You both win. I know, I got five. Whatever. But thank you all for watching. We're back home. Um, so Laura didn't want to do anything. She didn't want to go out. Kid drink bad, that's why I'm whispering. But uh, she didn't want to go out. She just wanted to come home and get some Chinese food and um, and do, play some board games. Could be mad at that. And so that's what we did. So we came back home and, and did that. But like I said, kids are in bed. Um, yeah, y'all. So I want to say thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, we Laura and I did talk about it. And we are going to look into getting a um, a California compliant truck so we can get back to doing those uh, those celebrity tours that we were doing. I know that uh, Pitbull is coming up and a, a, another band called Korn, K-O-R-N, they're a, a rock group. Um, they're coming up. I'm probably not going to be able to do those, but we are going to get prepared to do some tour stuff. And so we are going to be looking into getting a California compliant truck um, because I need one in order to run the celebrity freight. And for those of you who don't know, so the celebrity freight is like when these artists go on tour and they're walking city to city, like we'd be the ones to take it from city to city. It was usually they're like 10 trucks, 20 trucks. I think Beyonce's tour had 120 trucks, something like that. Taylor Swift probably had 80 to 100 trucks, but that's what we're going to be doing. Um, getting back into that. If you're new to the channel, I used to do that uh, about a year, two years ago, all that celebrity freight, and those rates pay really good. And you do a bunch of sitting. So you go from like city to city, you know, 100 miles here, 200 miles there, maybe 300 miles there every other day. So a majority of it is sitting. But those uh, celebrity tours pay like gross revenue. They pay five digits to do that. And you're sitting, they cater you, they pay for your food, you get behind like backstage access because you're a production. So you get to get backstage and hang out with the artists and stuff. So it's pretty cool. And so we're gonna be getting back into that. But guys, I will catch you guys at noon central standard time on the next one.